push to get unaccountable, undemocratic, unrepresented institutions like 10TC and ABAG. It's a push to get people to pay attention to those. That, that phrase, local control, it's a really interesting one. There's a scholar at, at Berkeley, John Powell, I don't know if people have read him, talks about local control being the next iteration in civil rights. And it really we went from states' rights and Jim Crow to local control. Local control is a way to say, I don't want black and brown people to live in my suburban community. It's a way to say, I want them to come and take all the low-wage jobs, but I don't want them to come and live in my community. And public advocates, we were fortunate to be a plaintiff on a suit that they worked on to open up the city of Pleasanton to zone and eventually build affordable housing. And a big connection to that was around the climate issue, but really it's about you know the modern face of segregation. Poverty is increasingly becoming, as we know, as people are pushed out of San Francisco and Oakland, or black and brown people are pushed into the suburbs. They said, don't put all the growth in San Francisco, San Jose, and Oakland. You know, rich places with good schools, suburban communities have to take on more growth. And it will dial down the pressure in San Francisco. will not relieve it completely. We know that. But that gives you a sense of Napa has one book. The northern suburban counties can form a de facto block to keep people out, to keep growth out. Marine can draw a wall up and say, you're part of Agenda 21. If you don't know what Agenda 21 is, Google, watch the, watch the Simpsons-like video of what Agenda 21 is. The secret plot for us to not allow de facto segregation to happen throughout the Bay Area. Marine can draw a wall up and say, we're not going to take any more growth. That's the limits to the regional government institutions we have in the Bay Area. So that reforming those and fixing those is a much bigger, bigger political project that you know, I'd be happy to talk about. But